Well, with just six days to go till the Iowa caucuses, Newt Gingrich is criticizing Ron Paul, the new frontrunner in the Iowa polls. The former House Speaker calling Congressman Paul worse than President Obama. Chris Wallace, the anchor of Fox News Sunday, joins us from Washington. Uh, I guess it's natural to go after the front runner, but does it surprise you um, the, I guess, the aggressiveness with which Newt Gingrich is going after Ron, Ron Paul? Uh, yes, it, it does surprise me. And again, because it has gotten so personal. At one point in an interview yesterday, he said that Ron Paul's views are outside the mainstream of virtually every decent American. Uh, you know, that's sort of saying you're un-American or, or indecent if you support Ron Paul, which I don't think is going to win over a lot of his supporters. Clearly, uh, there are a couple of things going on here. One is that Newt Gingrich is fading, if you believe the polls. In fact, uh, I think it's fair to say, uh, according to the real clear politics average of all the recent polls, he's no longer a top-tier candidate. Uh, Romney and Paul uh, are in the 20s, Paul leading, as you say, by a couple of points. Uh, Gingrich is uh, about 13, 14 percent. He is, in fact, closer uh, to uh, Michelle Bachman and Rick Perry than he is to the front runners. So he's clearly feeling the sting of fading. And the only question I have is why he would go after Paul's supporters, who seem to be awfully dedicated to him. Uh, I don't think it's a surprise to them that Paul has a, a, a particular set of views, libertarian views, both on, on uh, domestic issues and on foreign policy. Uh, and I'm not sure that uh, there's gonna, gonna be a lot of crossover from Paul to Gingrich. Seemed to me he'd have uh, better luck going after either Romney supporters or, as I say, that second tier of uh, Santorum and, and Perry and Bachman. Well, the response from the Paul campaign was uh, equally strong. His uh, campaign manager, Ron Paul's campaign manager, called it a childish outburst and said Newt Gingrich is a divisive big government liberal who is unelectable. What happened to Newt Gingrich's uh, policy of, of leaving hands off his fellow Republicans and going after President Obama? <laughs> Well, you're exactly right. That's exactly what I thought when I saw these comments about Ron Paul, because it is Gingrich who has talked about being relentlessly positive, that he is not going to attack the others, that he's going to live by Ronald Reagan's 11th commandment, thou shalt not speak ill of another Republican, and yet he doesn't seem to be able to control himself. Uh, I, last week he was going after Romney, this week, in as we say, the most personal, bitter terms, going after Ron Paul. Uh, you know, for a guy who says, I've learned and I've learned to discipline myself, and that's the rap against him that maybe he hasn't, uh, to, to keep falling off the wagon doesn't seem to be very persuasive. When asked in that same interview if he could vote for Ron Paul, if it came down to President Obama versus Ron Paul, Newt Gingrich said you'd have a very hard choice at that point. Is all of this Republican infighting part of the reason that the president's poll numbers seem to be on the upswing? Yeah, I'm not so sure that it's the Republican infighting in the 2012 race. I think a lot of the Republican infighting here in Congress, where you saw a split among Republicans uh, when it came to the, the payroll tax, and it seemed like there was a split between the, the establishment, the leadership, if you will, and the Tea Party Republicans. I think that is, has helped the president. But, but clearly, uh, you know, the, the, but I don't know. I, you know, I, I have to say I'm going to take back what I was about to say, because I think that I don't think the fighting that's going on inside the Republican field is any worse than it has been in the past. Uh, I don't see any huge splits here. Uh, and whoever the nominee is, he's going to be, I think, a very effective uh, counter to Obama. And, 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 you know, there's plenty that the Republicans agree on. Uh, and there really aren't any huge policy differences. And there's a lot that they disagree on. That's why, interestingly enough, uh, Gingrich's comments, I think, are, are, you know, are sort of over the line because if there's one thing that all Republicans agree on, it's that they want to beat Barack Obama in 2012. And you've got Ron Paul booked for this Sunday on, uh, on Fox News Sunday, right? We, we actually have three of the candidates. Yeah. yeah, we're going to be live in Des Moines and we're going to have Ron Paul and Rick Perry and Michelle Bachman all live on Fox News Sunday. And, uh, pl plenty to talk to them about already and it's only wednesday so who knows what we'll have to talk to him about by sunday john be interesting to see if he has anything to say about newt gingrich all right oh i suspect he will i suspect he will too chris wallace <laughs> we'll be watching gonna be an interesting show thanks